what were your top three challenges before using Tactome that you were looking to solve? Well, the big one and kind of a, a little history or current is I've been growing the business since about 08 and up to about three years ago, got up to about 600 or so clients and I'm a solo, I'm not even a secretary. And I try to solve growth problems with uh, technology. So I'm real kind of technology focused, anything that'll help me. And just through my own marketing efforts and that sort of thing, got up to that 600, but it seemed to, after 20, 30% growth year over year for a while, I started getting the growth would meet the attrition kind of thing. So kind of stuck in that level, which a lot of other solos like 600, that's pretty good. I try to jam everything I can in from January to April or these last couple of years, January to whatever. And uh, I actually went about uh, last year looking to acquire, looking at retiring colleagues around here. It's skewing older the last few years as far as owners. And I saw just some retiring ones. Met up with a guy last year or actually before last season, he still wanted to do one more year, 86. I mean, the guy hung around for a while. So last year was the last one he introduced me. And so I'm bringing them on. It's about 400 some people. So through the math, I could very well be coming into about 900 or 1,000 people next year as a solo. So some people would think that's almost impossible. Got the hours, but here's the problem. I come into last year and I'm actually writing down. I was looking around for you even before you existed. Dealing with all these people, it's all with technology. I mean, well, I shouldn't say that. About half and half is virtual, half is sit down. And if everybody came and sat down when we did the return and finished up, sent them off the door, filed the return, I don't know any tax stone that much. It would be more like just kind of a recording of stuff or like it's just a database. But since a lot of stuff's turned remote, I try to seek out things that I've got. I've got a couple pieces of software. I mean, I can name them specifically that do, there are certain things, but not all in one. Big ones like Smart Vault. And it wasn't until about six, seven years ago, I actually thought, hey, what's a paperless system out there? I can't. So I was looking for the kind of portal thing. But then I came across like CRMs, the handle all this stuff, workflow. I had closed for that. And then like secure email and doing e-signatures. I got in Syro for that. So the problem is, and then I've got Outlook, of course, to keep track of all my emails and try to organize them and that sort of thing. So I have these systems, what they call a technology stack, but it's like, well, that's great that I've come across all these different subscriptions and everything's in the cloud, but oh, last year, that was the biggest headache. It was like my secretarial administrator duties were closing in on half of my actual time. And I'm thinking, this is ridiculous because I'd, I'd get people trained on the portal. Well, not that user-friendly, not nearly like yours. And, uh, okay, well, then you got that. Now I'm going to send you this way to sign. And they're like, oh, that's different. They get all confused. And I'd say, hey, why don't you learn this new technology? Why don't you learn that new tech? That's like, so that's where Techstone comes in. I just love the all-in-one. What do you look for when purchasing new technology? It sounds like you've done a lot of research and so forth. So you said you looked at Techstone a couple of years ago. What changed for you? Were there kind of a specific feature that came through? Or was there a certain quality that you're looking for when you're looking for software? <laughs> A year ago, I could have wrote down a lot of things like, oh, I wish they had this, wish they had that. And I revisit it after last year's busy tax season. And I'm like, oh, they've got that. The companies say, we're customer focused. We're here to do stuff that you want. It's like Smart Vault, for example. Two years ago, they're like, we're going to be able to put all the emails you get from your clients. They're going to go in here. We're adding the feature. We still have it. <laughs> like, they're so slow. And it's like this year's added feature. It's like you guys do. <laughs> Two or three a week, it seems. Some small, but that whole change with I had asked one some point, like that's weird how your silos, you have the three different ones. And it's like you guys responded to that, put it all in one place. That was probably the thing that really made me sign up. 